Hey, everybody, this is Joe and Angel. Welcome to another Mailbag Monday, where Angel and I take time and answer questions you sent in. We try to make a good selection, and we hope we've done that today. So here we go. Joe, we have four kids getting to the age of baseball, gymnastic, dance, football, and everything. We are feeling the pull of if we don't let these kids be part of things, they will never get scholarships or play professional sports, et cetera. <laughs> Sometimes we have to miss church on Wednesdays or Sunday mm. because of these other things. What can we do to stay ba balanced, keep Christ in the center of our home, yet still let the kids stay involved and not miss out? Well, it, go ahead. That will be a challenge. It will be. Well, uh, we see it more and more because especially when we travel on Sundays, typically our hotel is full of families who are there for tournaments Sunday, yeah. starting out early Sunday. You go out for breakfast, places packed with kids in uniform, boys and girls, softball, soccer. It's like it's become a God. Mm -hmm. And everybody's looking for scholarship money. And what you have to understand, uh, I don't remember the number. It's a bizarre number. One to two percent of all kids playing sports are going to get a scholarship. I think it's less than one. Uh, it, it's, it's hung out there like a giant sterling ball on a Christmas tree. It's probably not going to happen. Now, if it does, it's good to shoot for it. We had friends that built a, they, they live in a really nice double wide mobile home out beyond our house. And they build a gymnasium behind that mobile home, full blown gymnasium. So they they wanted their son to get a basketball scholarship. So he'd practice. Well, he never made the team in, in high school. <laughs> He never even made the team. They've invested thousands of dollars because they just believe that boy is going to get a basketball scholarship. Guys, he didn't make the team. He's, it's, it's not his gift. He's gifted in a lot of things. Basketball's not one of them. So we've made a god out of sports. It sells a lot of commercials. And we, I love watching the college football, watching a baseball game every now and then. But it's not, it's, if that's not your sport, you're chasing you, something that's not going to happen. So Find out what you're good at and get good at that and quit chasing the la la. Now, all my kids played sports and I didn't have uh, two kids get scholarships, which is a high number, uh, but it was, um, it was almost a freak of nature. It was in state. They, they didn't play professionally after, after college. They, I mean, they didn't want to, they wanted to get married and have kids and have a life, get a job, get a career. And so it made for great memories and they had to work harder because, you know, when you're playing sports in college, you don't have time to study as often. And sometimes you got tutoring, but most of the time you didn't. When you look back on it, you ask any of my kids that did that, would you do it again? They'd all say, no, I have great memories, but no, it wasn't worth it. I, I should have spent more time studying and, you know, uh, and applying myself to relationships. And it was just, uh, it's hung out there like a giant crystal ball, but it's just not what it's made out to be. That's all I got to say about that. Well, my kids never did sports. I mean, a little bit. Oh, I hated that tee ball you, in 110 degrees. <laughs> you're melting. It feels like it's never going to oh, end. Oh, my goodness. But, and you, your kids are great athletes, very athletic. Yes, but then he picked up the guitar. Come on. And the drums. Come on. And I said, we're going to make a decision. It's either going to be music or sports and i was thrilled thank you Jim. when he said music he's and, very good yeah he's very good but uh but um so you know i saw that there was a gift in him and did everything we could to and as an adult i've got to say as an adult was he 30 mm -hmm. he makes great money on the weekends with his own band band did they are phenomenal and so long after he left college he's still making money with that gift he's not playing professional sports but he's doing music really good it's it's paying him really well it is it is he i love to go hear him and um he he's actually recording right now yes. and so uh he's extremely talented yeah we're expecting a good check out of this i said we want a home on the I want a, on con the, a condo on the beach. I've been, condo on the beach. I've been indoctrinating that. That's all we want. Just more. one condo on the beach after there's first million. Just yeah. Mom, and Dad just want a condo on the beach. That's all we want. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> but my daughter wasn't as clear. Uh, her her gift wasn't as clear. No. But over time, we learned that she had gift, gift for a being with children, gift. and she's a wonderful teacher Phenomenal. and uh, just an incredible teacher and. 
she was telling me the other day, she teaches three, four, and five years old. She's a Montessori teacher. And I said, do all those kids know how to read when they leave you? And she said, yes, of course. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, five? That is just amazing. And they're over there naming all the continents. And I'm like, wait a minute, can I name all the continents? I can't I'm name all the sure continents. I can. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's uh, it's cool to see your kids find where they're supposed to be and th- flourish. Well, people would ask, they thought we'd made a got out of sports. We know all your kids play sports. I said, yes. Well, why? I said, well, I want my kids busy, tired, and happy. Uh, I don't want you to go home. When we got home many a time late at night, Dad, can we go to bed? Yes, you can, sugar. And so not up all hours listening to weird music or, you know, stand up on a phone with somebody that they want to go to sleep. Can we just take a shower and go to sleep? Yes. God bless you. So, But I would be very careful about missing church. Can't do that. Now, I, I see people do it. And I think you, you, you're you going to send a message to your children of what what's more valuable to you. It's exactly what you're sending. And you've got if to you be. you don't go on Wednesday, they won't go on Sunday. Yep. So yeah. I would be very, very careful. And, you know, the youth and the youth pastors were some of the big influences in my kids' lives. Yes. We just went to a church that was their youth pastor, and they loved him. And he was wonderful. Yes. And had a great impact on their life. So I just don't, I think that's a bad compromise to yeah. make. And personally, I wouldn't make it, but, no. you know, obviously you have to. Uh, you're, you're talking about parents of eight kids right here, and we've lived it. And so, no, we don't skip Sunday. We don't skip Wednesday, not for sports. We love sports. We hope you're good at it. Hope you make the team. Hope you win a state championship. You no. Know, but no, we're not skipping church for that. No. How do you handle working with a coworker who is rude and disrespectful? Pray him out. Someone I work with seems to have it out for me, and I don't understand why. They will never lend a hand, but I find myself always trying to help bridge the gap. It's not working, but I am not sure how to break through. Well, I mean, I would probably confront it and say, I mean, what have I done something to you? Because I feel like I have offended you in some way. And if I have, I want to make it right. And if they say no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> then then say, well, then quit acting like a turkey to yep. me. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, you might have to escalate it. I've, I've had a lady that worked with, oh, she tried me. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, did she. And it was, it was a. Uh, she did things to me that, oh, my goodness. And it was all in the name of Christianity. You don't have to do anything to deserve it. Uh, people hated the Apostle Paul. Every time Paul showed up, a riot would break out. He went to towns he'd never been to, and a riot would break. Why? Hell didn't like Paul. And Jesus drew crowds. People tried to throw stones at him and shove him off a cliff. What did he do wrong? Nothing. He's the son of God. He never sinned. He never sinned. Why are they trying to shove you off a cliff? Because hell's everywhere. And so don't get caught up trying to understand and justify and explain it away and calm it down and stroke it. They're just some people. They're just mean and rude. Yeah, I would just be you. Be just yes. a happy-go-lucky and just yep. not let it, let it affect you. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it, it, it might get to the place where you might have to escalate it and take it up the but ladder. But don't ever negate the thing about praying, you know. Yeah. You can pray them out. God bless them. Get them a raise, get them promotion. And uh, I'm uh, two people I did that when we were working with when I was an engineer. Lord, how are we going to do? Well, I need to pray them out. Lord, you need to bless them. Get them a raise, get them a better job. You know, <laughs> and and they both left our company for a supposed to better job. Within a year, they'd both been fired because they were horrible. They're horrible employees, but let somebody else deal with it. We're not going to deal with it. So pray a blessing on them. Somebody did deal with it. They fired them. <laughs> okay. How do you handle a spouse who turns the children against me in an argument? My kids see me as the bad guy all the time. And in fact, it sometimes feels like everyone is ganging up on me. I don't know what to do anymore. Well, that that's a very difficult position because your spouse is making you the enemy in that case like that. Mm. And it's a no win for you. Um, I would say you're probably going to have to go to counseling, the two of you. But uh, because this is a legitimate problem, and there's a lot of them like this, but we can't settle this 
here today. We're, you need to have somebody get to the bottom. There's always two sides to every coin. What are you doing? What are they doing? What's he doing? What's he not doing? You need to see a, a good, strong Christian counselor just be quiet and listen and say, well, here's what I see. Well, yeah, because, he, you know, he might think you're critical and um, that, you know, that he has to defend them. So, yeah. but you don't know what he's thinking unless you talk to him and yep. say, it feels like when you defend, you know, them, then it, it feels You're slamming me. Yeah. So how can we get past this as a couple? And sometimes you say, well, you're requiring things to them. I don't think it's fair and it may be fair, but it might not be to them. So you're going to have to get a third party. Well, somebody needs to get in the middle and be a problem solver. Yeah, because it's not, it's not, it's not good to have a spouse that does that. It, no. it will, it will create tension all around. So, um, that noise in the background is our cat driving me crazy once again. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Well, that's it for today. We sure love you. But hey, listen, if you've ever thought about being a partner with us, uh, we sure would love it. If you joined with us in your prayers and your financial support, uh, we could certainly uh, use it and we will put it to good use. Well, it partners that make this happen. We don't do this on our own. It's just lots of people praying and giving to Joe McGee Ministries that help us do this. And we're reaching hundreds of thousands with the podcast. Uh, last year at this time, we reached in, in the, well, the December of last year, we reached a million and a half people just with our podcasts. You know, the short podcast, a million and a half people. We can travel for a million years and not reach a million and a half people, I think. And so we're doing most we can. So you enable us to do this. So we're being very good stewards of your money. So thank you for your gifts. And you can find out how to do that at JoeMcGee.com. Yes, you can. We sure love you. Thank you. Be sure to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to hear more of what God can do in your life. It's got a great future for you and your family. And we're here to help you get there. Please make sure you visit Joe McGee Ministries on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. There you find all of our Friday funny videos and other encouraging resources for you and your family. While you're at it, be sure to visit JoeMcGee.com. We have all sorts of materials, books, DVDs, you name it, all there to help you, your marriage, and your family succeed.